Mike Buffon is the president of Toyota of Mexico. And Mike, you got to tell me, what are you here at the conference to talk about? Well, I'm here, first of all, to see what's the buzz. And, well, you know uh, what the buzz is. The buzz is all about the tariffs. That's all so, anyone wants true, to talk true. about. But uh, we really want to take advantage of the opportunity to, to hear what others are doing as we're making transformation, at least in the world of manufacturing your product, from uh, more conventional uh, product and more conventional manufacturing to embrace what's coming at us, whether it be connected vehicle, autonomous vehicle, and uh, share vehicle. And uh, we wanted to understand, would there be any impact on the fundamentals of manufacturing? And if so, how do we manage that? How do we manage this transition? and this transformational time. What do you think? Are we going to have an impact as we move into an autonomous world? Absolutely, I think we're seeing the impact now. Uh, I think if you're looking at manufacturing facilities right now, just about most equipment that come in, they're equipped with sensors, so we have massive data collection capability. Our product engineering and uh, product design people are keeping in mind what the future holds and uh, consumer taste is changing. Uh, we ought to be able to handle any type of uh, fueling options, uh, whether it be fuel cell, uh, electrification, or hybrid. And manufacturing has to have the capability to be there when needed and produce what the consumers want. That's absolutely true. Uh, are you building that capability into your plants right now, or are you just thinking about how you will do it? I think we're in the process of uh, implementing some of the technologies we need. Uh, and uh, it takes modification of some of our processes. In the case of Mexico, for example, we are building a new plant that allows us to start with a clean slate. So we can design that plant with maximum capability and flexibility so that we are agile. So mm -hmm. if we need to make a change, we can do it quickly. Mm -hmm. Toyota currently makes Tacoma pickup trucks in Mexico, is that right? Correct. We make Tacoma trucks in Mexico and in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And the new plant that you're talking about, well, what's that going to build? We will also make uh, Tacoma trucks. You see, John, we can't make enough trucks. So uh, we are starting out uh, with Tacoma trucks in Guanajuato between um, Guanajuato plant, Tijuana, and San Antonio. We'll be just under 500,000 uh, in terms of capacity. So we think that may be okay for us for the time being. And of course, the door is always open. If the consumer wants more, then we got to come up with more ideas. As I said, tariffs are a big concern at this conference. The NAFTA agreement, a big concern. What do you think about it? Well, I think uh, just like the rest of industry, Toyota is just as concerned. Uh, we see tariffs as uh, taxes, and that increases the cost of a car, and consequently, uh, the prices will go up and the consumers will suffer from it. Our choices would be more limited. I honestly think it would have adverse effect. We'll probably see more imports coming to this country. So uh, I don't think anybody disagrees with fair and free trade. And we think NAFTA is uh, adequately gives us what we need, but there's no doubt uh, NAFTA agreement was penned, what, 26 years ago. So we are in need of modernization of that. But uh, doing away with that is not a good thing for economy, it's not a good thing for anybody. No, it is not. I agree with you on that, but I'm sure you have contingency plans. Could you export more of these trucks out of Mexico to other places in the world, not just the U.S.? Well, I think we, we, we haven't sat down and panned out exactly what we wanted to do in terms of export and import. We were hoping to get to a good uh, uh, conclusion relative to NAFTA. but. Uh, the good thing uh, about operating in Mexico, you have uh, pretty much unrestricted access to uh, many different markets in Central and South America. So, and Tacoma is an extremely uh, popular product. But again, uh, we feel uh, with the work that is being done, eventually we sort out whatever the glitch is and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll get back to be focused on making trucks and cars. At the very beginning of this interview, you talked all about all the data collection that you can do on the manufacturing floor. Can you give us some examples of how that's changed what you're doing? Well, it, it requires a new uh, uh, training uh, or, or, or new uh, sort of skill sets. So our people need to know what to do with the data. Just to have sensors and equipment and collect data, it's not, not going to do a whole lot. 
but we need to educate ourselves, work with our team members to make sure they understand the value of data. And you have large amounts of data being collected, anything from what happens to a piece of machinery and equipment every second to what are you going to do with it. So how are we going to harness all of that data collection to allow us to make better decisions? to understand how safe that equipment can be operational, to understand when that equipment has to be uh, uh, subject to any kind of a maintenance, to allow us to have uh, close to zero downtime. And at the same time, it, it teaches us about how our processes are efficient or not. So uh, you basically time whatever the touch points on, or where, where, you, where you work on the vehicle. So it allows us to see how efficient we are and how much more efficient we should be. Very interesting, the change. You know, Toyota taught the world how to do Kanban with simple cardboard yes. cards. Yeah. Now all the way to digital data collection. Well, sure, we do both, by the way. I can take to some of our plants. You can still see those old common cards. But the progress never stops. So the good thoughts, good ideas are there. And if we can improve them, that's what our business is all about, continuous improvement. Very good. Thanks for this quick update of Thank Toyota you. Mexico. Thank you. Yeah. I enjoyed talking to you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Rochling Automotive is a system supplier collaborating globally with OEMs in the areas of aerodynamics, powertrain, and new mobility. Visit rochling.com for more information.